Whether you've purchased bare rooted rhizomes from my online shop or you're thinking about dividing your own plant at home, this video will help you understand how to correctly repot your carnivorous plants such as Venus's flytraps, North American pitcher plants and sundews, resulting in beautiful specimens you can be proud of. As with all potting mediums, take the necessary precautions by wearing a dust mask and gloves. For your convenience, gloves are included in any peat moss order from our succulent fly traps online shop. Of course, before you start, you'll need the right pot. Check the following for guidelines for the minimum pot size. Start off by placing a piece of plastic mesh on the bottom of the pot. This is an optional extra, but I like to do this to prevent soil erosion when the pot is standing in water. For your convenience, Pre-sized plastic mesh is included in your peat moss order from the Succulent Fly Traps online shop. With their extensive roots, start off with North American pitcher plants by filling a third of the pot with peat moss. Positioning the rhizome with one hand in the centre of the pot, pour peat moss around the roots. Ensure that the peat moss is distributed evenly by spreading it around the edges of the pot. Once you've almost reached the rim, give the pot some firm shakes to ensure that the peat moss is compacted and spread evenly around the roots. Continue filling the pot until you get to the rim. Again, give the pot some firm shakes to ensure compactness. Pour some soft water over the rhizome and the peat moss. This gives the roots vital moisture. Place the pot in a tray of water. This ensures that there is an even distribution of dampness in the pot. Continue the process even when the water is absorbed by the peat moss. Since Venus's flytraps are more fragile and have more shallower roots than North American pitcher plants, I like to take a different approach when it comes to potting plants. For Venus's flytraps, I like to completely fill the pot with peat moss. I like to give the pot an occasional shake to allow the peat moss to settle nicely in the pot. I then continue completely filling the pot to the rim with peat moss. To dampen the peat moss, add soft water on top. Allow time for the water to penetrate into the peat moss. With the end of a paintbrush or similar, form a hole as deep as the roots of your flytrap rhizome. Carefully lower the rhizome into the hole you've just created. Try to use just the tips of your fingers to avoid damage or any unnecessary triggering of traps. This will help to conserve energy for your plant. Carefully add extra peat moss with your fingers. Avoid any peat moss from falling into open traps to avoid unnecessary triggering of those traps. Carefully lift the rhizome with the end of your paintbrush to allow peat moss to be packed against the rhizome. Position the rhizome with the tips of your fingers. Stand the pot in some water to allow an even distribution of dampness throughout the potting medium.